Hi, this is the simplest way for those of you to automate. It's going to be mostly automated. If you need to get through a night of sleep or you need to get through the work day or something like that, this is a free way to do it. It's really simple. The other ways to do it are going to involve steps that some of you are just going to have a hard time with because they're going to be technical because you're going to have to install things and get a VPS and a remote desktop and it could just be a nightmare. And it just doesn't really have to be because this works pretty well. Is it 100% automated where all you have to do is just log in once a week and transfer funds if you want? No, it's not that automated, but it's pretty automated. I don't know. I like to log in and look at what's happening anyway several times throughout the day, so I don't know that it's that significant. But what you're going to do is you're going to take either Firefox or Chrome, and you're going to go uh, just, if you go to Google, here, just to go right from the very beginning, you go to Google, and you search for iMacros extension and then choose whichever browser. Looks like they have them for Edge, Internet Explorer, I don't know. People are searching for them. I'm using Chrome but I'm showing you on Firefox because I already have it in Chrome. So you see right here macros, iMacros or Firefox, just click that. Look how easy. Add to Firefox. Add. OK. Now it's added. It's this little blue thing here. If you click this, it opens this thing. And this is how it'll look in its default state. It should. And if you click on this current thing and then you right click, edit, you'll see. Edit. <laughs> it's not editing. Okay. So what's happening is this is a blank one. So what we need to do here is we need to go to cotps.com and then we need to go to our transaction hall okay and once we're here all we got to do is we click record here and then we click record macro and then stop so record macro stop so what that does is that initiates a script and it tells us to go to that page now this is the page where the transactions happen and so and it, it, it automatically opens the editor. Now I'm going to give you a link to a text file. That text file is going to look like this. All you have to do is very simple. Just highlight this. Now you can download this and open it in a text document or a notepad document. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess you could probably open it in Google Docs from the Google Drive because you're going to get it from a Google Drive link. Uh, I'm not sure. I can open it in Google Docs because I own the file, but I assume you can do the same. But we're just going to copy that. Make sure nothing's missing and nothing's extra. And then all you're going to do is come over to this editor. So I'm going to highlight everything and just delete it and then paste in. So what's in the editor now is the script. This is the script. Okay. So I click Save. Uh, do I want to overwrite it? Yeah, there's a script in there from earlier, an earlier demo I did. So I've saved it, and now I close it. And now what do I have? Now I have a script that will actually do what it needs to do. Now basically what it's going to do is it's going to go to this page, and it's going to click this, and it's going to wait for the next thing to come up, and it's going to click the sell button, and it's going to wait for the next thing to come up, and it's going to click the confirm button, and it's going to click this again. It's going to go through that cycle four times which for some of you will be just fine. If you have a really tiny account, or depending on the transactions that are coming up, you may need more, you may need less to get this down below $5. This is not that significant. I mean, I've got 17,000 in here. If it runs five, I've got mine set for five cycles. And I still had, I think about $78 left over here or something the last time it ran. No big deal, it's a few cents. Now, if I happen to be available and I'm on my phone, like today I'm taking my kid to the mall and I'll be doing the dad thing where I'm just standing there waiting for her to shop, I'll look at it. When it's time, when this bot should have done its thing, if there's still funds left over here, I'll go ahead and run them through the rest of the way. But this is intended to get you through a whole night of sleep, get you through a work day and things like that so you don't have to set alarms every two and a quarter hours. Oh, got to take a bathroom break. This should get you through that. Now, from here, all you do is once this is ready to run, in other words, once this right here is back to zero, 
What you're going to do is click play loop. Set the number of loops. It doesn't really matter. Maybe put it up 12, 15, whatever. You're going to have to check on it. I mean, it'll probably go up to 99 loops. But what it'll do is it'll do all four of those cycles, and at the end it will go over to this page, which we don't ever use, but just in the script. And then it'll wait for 8,000 seconds, which is 2 hours and 14 minutes approximately. But it's looping. So when it starts that loop again after 8,000 seconds, and it'll show you a countdown here, then it'll go back to the transactions page and it'll run the cycles. The reason it goes back to this other page is because we need a live page loaded in the browser tab here in order for these functions to run. And some of you, it just won't stay live that long. If we let it sit here for 8,000 seconds and this comes back and tries to click this, it doesn't click. And it just depends on your device, on your browser, on your browser settings, internet connection, things like that. Sometimes after it's been sitting a while, it's just a cached page. It's not actually live. So we need this page to refresh. However, the first command of this program is to go to this page. But if it's already on this page, it will not reload it. So the cycle is go to this page, run your cycles, go back to the earn interest page, wait for two hours plus. New cycle, go back to transaction hall, run the cycles, go back to the earn interest page, wait for two hours plus. That's all that it's doing. This will not gather your referral commissions. I just literally um, did these a few minutes ago, but um, to get your referral commissions put into your wallet, you have to go into my mine, which made that little pop-up. That pop-up will mess this thing up because it comes up sometimes and not other times, and this can't handle that. And then you have to go to my team and click receive. Then you gotta go to level two and click receive. You gotta go to level three and click receive. So if you're just starting and you have no referral commissions, it doesn't matter. If you want a bot that's going to come in here and it's going to receive all the referral commissions first and then it'll go back and run your transactions, this, is, this will not do that. It's not that significant. You could receive your referral commissions once a day or twice a day if you have significant referral commissions. If your referral commissions are more than $50, I would suggest you just cough up the $50 and get the premium bot because the bot will come in and receive them every single time before it does transactions and the amount of money you'll make off that is far, far going to exceed the cost of the bot. Alternatively, if I put a bot out there because I have one being developed and I'm not charging for it, I just can't tell you exactly when it's going to be done. These types of things always turn out to take longer than estimated, but my bot is supposed to. It's being designed to do that for you. I would say that if it's a choice between waiting a week or two to try to learn how to use the one that I'm having developed because it's not going to be out for that long versus just paying the 50 bucks and getting the one that's already working for most people, I would say do the faster one. But that's really up to you. For those of you who have small accounts, limited budget, limited technical knowledge, this is going to be the easiest way to start automating. And so far, the last week, that's all I've been doing. And it's been working great. Now, as far as troubleshooting any any problems the only problem I've seen with this is sometimes if your internet connection is slower or if your device is slower you need more time between the cycles so if you look at this the first step is to go to this this web address oh by the way you have to be logged in <laughs> this does not log you in you have to be logged in in the browser. So if this is set up on Firefox, you have to be logged in here in Firefox. If it's set up in Chrome, you have to be logged in in Chrome. Don't close it. Leave the page open. Make sure your computer doesn't is not going to go to sleep. It's not going to hi hibernate. If the power goes out, this is off. If the internet goes out, this is off. You do have on your PC or your laptop settings where you can make the screen go to sleep after so much time, but the computer will not sleep. You have to make sure the computer does not go to sleep. The only place I've really seen this have trouble is when this wait time is too short. If you take all, out all the wait times, right, and this is easy to do, you just right click on this file, edit, and then you can edit these however you want. I mean, if I want to increase the time to 12 seconds here, I just replace that with 12 and click save. I don't want to do that. But sometimes if your internet's slower or your device is slower and it 
it navigates to this page, it takes longer than 10 seconds for that button to populate. And there's people, the, some of you, you know, we got people all over the world. I don't know where you are. You could be in an area where your internet's super slow. Maybe it takes 30 seconds to load. Well, you can just change this. Change this to 35. So here it's clicking the first button, immediate competition for orders, and it's waiting 11 seconds. If you see this thing's giving you an error, can't locate item, line, number, something, what's happening usually is it didn't wait long enough. It's trying to click something that's not loaded yet. So if you take out all these wait times, it'll just go boom, 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 right through all of them. The page won't even have time to load. It'll error out, and it'll sit there. So I've got these times adjusted where they're much longer than I need, but I'm trying to accommodate like 99% of you with your internet speed. It's going to be very rare that one of you will have a connection or page load speed that's slower than what these are. But if you have a real old computer, it's like 500 megs of RAM, you know, one CPU, and it's like 15 years old, and that's what you're using, okay, maybe you got to come in here and increase these times a little bit. So everywhere it says wait in seconds, just add a second or two and see if that works. In those situations, you may have to play with it for a few cycles. You may have to watch it and see it run and see if it times out. Like, I would not set this up the first time and then just go to bed. I would set this up during the day, start the loop, okay? And you're going to start the loop on this page when you're ready to start it. So when this is zero, you set your loop number and you click play loop. And it will start doing its thing. Make sure it goes through the whole loop. If it gets through the whole loop, it'll tell you up here, waiting 8,000 waiting zero, waiting one, waiting two, waiting three, and it'll say 8,000 seconds here, and it'll count up to 8,000. You'll see it'll be active. As long as it makes it through that first loop okay, you should be good. Any errors beyond that point are errors with page load times most of the time. So that's going to accommodate like 95% of you just fine for what you need because most of you, you know, you have the ability to get on your phone once in a while. You have a lunch hour. You know, you have time at home, uh, you know, where you're not doing anything. You're watching TV. You can hop on your phone and just make sure that you're receiving your affiliate commissions to your wallet uh, so that they're being used. Okay? All right. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.